hey guys um so this video you're watching right now is um unscripted and it is from the heart um just because i would like to say my story myself i would like to tell my story myself that is why i'm making this video right now i never announced it that I, I was pregnant or i was expecting okay all well and good almost everyone knows debbie shokoya is expecting she's pregnant she's expecting and with all glory to god i lost my child and uh, i lost my child eight months um <laughs> i wouldn't have come out to make this video because i'm i'm not um that person that wants to you know put our personal life out there or want to make news about ourselves aside our professional life out there that is why whenever anything is said i would just rather keep quiet because i don't want to make drama out of my personal life but for this just because i don't want anyone going around talking about it like it's a secret like it's a news or something that is why i would prefer to say it myself it is not a secret I just feel that some certain things are meant to be kept personal because they are personal and by the time you'll be watching this video this has happened for over a month yeah that is to tell you that i choose to speak on what i want to speak about if i'm not going to speak about it if i'm not going to talk about it i wouldn't talk about it okay let me just give a brief about what happened because i know some people would you know come up with different stuff, say different things, but please be careful about what you're going to say. Words are sensitive, especially when it comes to this matter. I'm a mother. I carried my child for eight months. I sacrificed a lot for my child. I know what I went through. <laughs> I traveled with the joy of coming back with my child. But God understands, right? And like my family said, I should continue to give glory to him, which I choose to. So please, it is not easy. I carried my child for eight months. I bonded with my child. I lost my child. Please don't tell me to the spiritual or whatever because I know some people can be that stupid. I'm I'm not sorry to use that word. Do not tell me to spiritual or whatever. Do not tell me to what you want to assume. It is my story. Huh? So I I was rushed to the emergency and uh, we you know the child wasn't breathing anymore you know was it moving and that way gone and I, I i had to be induced to go into labor and i gave birth to my child and i carried my child dead so you know what that means you know what it means that i carried my child dead that child that I've been waiting to see, that I've been waiting to see, that I sacrificed everything for, everything for. And then I came back, I, I did not come back with my child. I went through so much, I've been going through so much for over a month, but I chose to come out and, and still post and still have like nothing is wrong, even people very close to me. And to those people very, very close to me that, you know, it's expected that they should have known before now. I'm sorry that I didn't say it to you. And that was because I want to grieve my way. I just wanted to grieve. I just wanted to grieve my whole way. 
God let to, uh, you know, a time will come when we have to go through some things here. So I just wanted to, I hope you would understand and not get angry that, oh, Debbie did not inform me, oh, Debbie did not tell me, how could you have kept this to yourself? I'm sorry. I just felt it was the best way for me to heal. And please, when you watch this video, you can call to, you know, to, to you know, sympathize with me, but please don't push it too much. I've, I've tried to, you know, I'm, I'm getting over it. It is not easy. We all know it is not easy. Like, it is a mother's love. And it comes with a lot. Please, I know as a celebrity that you all would say, being a celebrity, you don't have your life private. You don't have to keep things to yourself. You are, your life is for the public. I'm sorry. I, I would like to make a request. Please, henceforth. You know Debbie Shokoya. Leave it at that. My professional life. Yes. I want you to be part of it. I want you to be part of my brand. But my marriage. Please. Respect me. I don't need you in my marriage. You're a fan. You're a colleague. Uh, what else? If I feel the need, you know, for you to have an opinion in anything I want to do when it comes to my personal life, I would ask for it. But when I do not ask for it, please keep your assumptions to yourself. Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, our nose is big. Oh, our nose oh, very good and fine. But you should have kept it to yourself. I didn't announce to you that I was pregnant. I got messages, I got comments like um, when, when I was still with my baby, with the baby bomb, and I choose not to, you know, open up myself and say, oh, I'm pregnant or, you know, make it so clear. And I got messages and comments like, oh, I don't even like her. Why are you hiding your baby bomb? It's my baby bomb and not your baby bomb. It would not affect anything. So why do I have to do all of this to please you people? Can you just accept me for me, please? So moving on, please allow my personal life be my personal life. Allow my professional life be my professional life. And I am still grieving. Yes, I'm still grieving. And I will do it the best way that I can. And remember, before I make this video and I post this video for you to see, I have moved on. I'm living my life normal. You don't know what happened. So after this video, don't come to my page and start bombarding me with so many, oh, this is how you should grieve. Oh, you're posting too much. Oh, you are laughing too much. Oh, no, please don't do that to me. Please. I don't like to cause people out. I don't like to be rude. So please respect me that way. So to those people that I would have worked with when I was in the US, I'm so sorry this was what happened and I couldn't show up to my vendors that I would have met and you know make a video for. I am sorry this was what happened and I needed to heal. Um, thank you. And I want to say a very, very big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Kobebe, you know. Thank you for making me realize that family is not just by blood, but, but by, you know, people that really love you and care about you. This family, Mr. Kobebe's family, Mrs. Kobebe's family, they stood by me at the point when it was the hardest part of my life. Yes, I would say that the hardest part of my life. They were with me, the care, the support, the words, the encouragements. Thank you for not making me lose my mind. To the children, thank you. You guys were amazing. Thank you. And to my husband, <laughs> it was there. It was there. My husband was there 100%, you know. We were both grieving, but, you know, it was that support that, that didn't make me, you know, bury myself in that grief so much. Thank you so much. Despite the distance, it did everything to bring me out of it every day. 
to my mom, to my dad, to my mother-in-law, to my father-in-law. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to these people because these people, they make me lose my mind. And that's why the distance, they were filling the gap. They were really filling the gap. So I wouldn't feel it so much. We all know a mother's love is strong. I, um, I'm still grieving. And uh, I promised myself that I was going to do it one step at a time. The fact that I'm a celebrity does not mean there's a certain way I need to be. The glamour shouldn't be with my family. Let it be with other things. I would do other things. But you see this particular one, please, I'm begging. It's a request. Please, to these people, I don't want to call anyone a troll. I don't want to call anyone a bully. But I am begging you, please. Thank you. In case you don't know, whenever you bully, whenever you troll me, it's, it's, really, it's really hard to ignore. But I try to ignore. I do it. Thank God for the, the, the people that I have around me. They understand the fact that you need to become about things. They understand. If not, maybe I would have just... But you know how I'm human. I don't want to lose it. So that is why I'm begging you. And I'm back. Yeah, the Bishokaya is back to so all the producers, all the production managers, everyone that would love to work with me. I'm back. Skit makers, you're welcome. Endorsements, brands, vendors, I'm at your service. Thank you and I love you.